the final part of the video I'm going to deal with the mechanism of catalysis so we're going to look at the steps involved when the reactants are the pollutants are converted into the less harmful products inside the catalytic converter so this green zone here represents one of those microducts so this would typically be absolutely minute um, in size remember there are millions of these sort of very tiny tubes running through the catalytic converter to maximize the surface area and I'm going to demonstrate it using the reaction between NO and CO. So I'm representing the nitrogen monoxide as these blue and red molecules. So remember in the equation, I'll draw that up in a moment again, we have two moles of those in the equation. And the carbon monoxide I'm representing as the black and red. And again we have two moles of those in the equation. So these are traveling through the microduct and the first part of the mechanism is the effectively these molecules stick to the surface of the catalyst. Now we can't say stick, the process is adsorb and that's a D not a B, adsorb. So adsorption occurs and effectively what's happening is there are very weak bonds forming between the molecule, the reactant molecules, and the surface of the catalyst. So this is known as adsorption. So effectively they are sitting on the top, sitting on top of the catalyst surface. If it was absorb, they would actually seep into the surface. So that's the difference between those two words. So this is adsorption. Now what that does is it brings the molecules closer together and it also positions them in the correct orientation and so they can react more easily. And as I've also said, it also weakens the bonds in the molecules. So that's going to make the process easier as well. Once the molecules have been adsorbed, they then react. So the second part of the mechanism is reaction. And so you can see I've now changed the reactant molecules. Reactions occurred. I've now changed them to the product. So we've got one mole of N2 formed and two moles of CO2. And obviously these need to now get off the surface of the catalyst. And this is known as desorb or desorption. So adsorption, reaction, desorption are the three steps in the mechanism. Another thing worth mentioning here is the catalyst is a solid and the reactant Are gases. So these are in different phases to each other. So we have gases reacting on the surface of a solid catalyst and so the, cat the catalysis is referred to as heterogeneous. Heterogeneous catalysis and hetero signifies that these are in different phases. Now, as luck would have it, there is a word that we can use to remember the order. So we can say that um, catalytic converters are hard because they use heterogeneous catalysis and the mechanism occurs via adsorption followed by reaction followed by desorption.